Nice. Okay, so you get back five hit points. And then we run to Ivan. I will charge that executioner. And aggressor's odds. How many luck have you got left? Luck rerolls? I have three left. No, two left. Okay. I only have one luck left. Uh, I really don't like that guy, though, so I'm going to use that to crit him. Okay. So you have no uh, luck left in one reroll? Correct. Uh, two rerolls. <laughs> exact same amount. Nice. Okay, so you drop him, and then we're on to the cultists and the goons. I'll say, I'm here for your sister. Uh, I'm sorry, I think there's people in the back that didn't hear you. Would you like a megaphone? I, I said, I, I'm here for you, sister. Well, you're in disguise for one thing. <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, also, she's that, blindfolded. That was kind of my point. But hopefully she can she, recognize my not, voice. She's not blindfolded. She's gagged. Ah, okay. Well, I, uh, hopefully she'd recognize my voice. Okay. Um, I was considering having the cultists uh, try and surrender, but I don't think any of these guys are going to cut them any slack because they're just going to want to kill them, and I just backed out of the game. I sure ain't going to stop them. No, I wasn't concerned about any moral issues. I was trying to figure out whether or not it is reasonable to surrender, and for them, it is not. They're fairly certain that if they surrender, all that means is they'll be clubbed to death without getting an attack. Very reasonable. So he will take another swing at Paul, since Paul is the primary target here. And crit Paul. Crit on the crit. That's very nice. It's a good thing everyone used up their luck. Yeah. I didn't. Oh. But it I can't see it. it. Yeah. So, uh, Paul, you take 22 points of damage from a crit. He really got his last blow in. That he did. Rangor's vengeance, he shouts. <laughs> and then we are back to initiative. Okay, Ralph, you're up first. Holding action. Paul. It should be at 10. I don't know why I didn't go on the tracker. Okay, and now that I'm not surrounded, move action to pick up that sword. Okay. Um, And I guess... How how are these goons looking at me? Just to make sure they're not about to swing at me too. Um, you are dressed as a cultist, but um, they can clearly see the cultists are attacking you, so they're not really sure what the deal is. Okay, I'm just gonna say, relax. Where are the reasons you guys showed up here? You're you're working with us. He seems, uh, they seem a little, uh, unsure, but, uh, they stay grouped together and, uh, looks like the fight is basically over. So, um, you want to take them all on, you're welcome to try. 
Not particularly interested in that, but thank you. Okay, well, they will tend to their wounded. And they will go around and double tap all of the, uh, the cultists before exiting. I'll make sure that they don't get Gretel or Anna. Actually, Anna's like in the middle of them. <laughs> uh, I'll make sure they don't get Gretel. Hopefully, Paul will make sure they don't get Anna. Yeah, I'm going to make sure they don't get Gretel or Wolfgang. You're keeping Wolfgang alive? He's valuable. What do you mean? Okay. Are you guys going to let me know that the fight's over? I mean, eventually. When, when uh, everything else is taken care of. I guess I'd, I'd bring Gretel and Dagmar to you when I can. Or I'd, I'd go through the mist. I guess I don't necessarily even know that you're on the other side of it. I was just going to say, for all you know, Ralph's at home having some cognac. Yeah. Um, I mean, I saw how badly hurt he was, though, so I'm not really going to hold it against him. It's interesting, because I would. He's a bloody healer. I mean, it would probably cross my mind, but I I don't have deep experience in how good he is at healing. Like, that I've is never, fair. I've, I've seen him heal me, like, once, twice. He's healed you lots of times. Actually, in, like, a combat situation. Obviously, he heals all the boo-boos in one house, I, but those are small. Actually, I, I'm trying to remember, since we actually want to kill Wolfgang, do we just want to let, um, but before the goons all leave, uh, I'm going to ask Ivan, do we want to let them just kill Wolfgang? Uh, I think if anything... I feel like he could have info, but... Either we could interrogate him, or you could leave him, uh, leave the goons to take him back to uh, Olaf, if they want him, or uh, we could just, you know, make an example of him. Like they were going to do with Dagmar, you know, splay his guts out across the altar, all that good stuff. I'm going to actually apologize to the game that I was about to take out Wolfgang. I'm going to say, you know what, I apologize. Feel free to finish him. Okay. Are, are you going to finish that? What? No, I was just making a joke. <laughs> we could Honestly, take his head and put it on top of the gate to the Rodimus estate. That would be a message and a half. That would just attract unwanted attention, I think. Uh, yeah, that would be pretty significant. Um, and they're using clubs, so they're caving people's heads in. So if you want his head, you better speak up. Um, other than the sword, does he have anything of value or significance? Um, exceptional breastplate, longsword plus one, heavy spike shield plus one, potion of cure moderate. You said exceptional longsword and exceptional, oh, I got it. Um, the exceptional sword is from, is our sword. It is technically your sword, although... It's technically his sword because he bought it with the estate. Well, I'll tell you what, he is free to argue as I pick it up from his body. No, I'm just, it might have your family crest on it and everything, but it's technically his yeah. property. No, that's fair. Same with the exceptional breastplate, it's going to be highly identifiable. You can fence it, but um, it's going to have his, like, heraldry all over it mm. same with the shield but it's going to become pretty common knowledge in the next couple of days that he was killed in the sewers I can't believe you went down like such a bitch he, he literally walked up to me I tried to stab me taunting the sword yeah, I just can't yeah, believe that he went down, like, basically on one hit. Well, it was two hits, and one of them was a crit. So, to be fair, he took, like, three hits to take down. That's about right at this level. Yeah. I, I'm just so glad I got to crit him. All those real good damage. Head. I love the... Hell, Paul does more damage per hit than me, and he does. he's dual wielding, so, you know... 
Uh, well, Except Trigonon, this crit, is also but... with their greater cat's grace. Yeah, but I mean, you've got that. I mean, you got that once per day, so I guess that's not always on, but it's. Yeah. Um, plus, yeah. Plus three uh, hit and damage is a lot at third level, fourth level. Ivan would actually like. Um, I mean, once he's like making sure that that the goons don't mistake him for a cultist and that they're not going to kill Gretel, he just like hug Dagmar and like take the uh, gag out, and he's like, uh, just you know, like. I, am I a younger brother or older brother? I'm a younger brother. Term, yeah, right? you're a younger brother. Um, and it's been a decade since she's seen you. Yeah, uh, I, I just, I even so, like Ivan really cares about his family. He'd say, I'm, I, "We're here for you, sister. We're here," and kind of just get very uh, emotional. Okay, she seems really confused. You look really familiar to her, but she's also been through hell for the last decade, so she's got a lot of. Uh, emotional trauma to deal with she is not particularly touchy-feely like obviously she's not capable of resisting you when you hug her but at the same time she doesn't embrace you back and she seems really uncomfortable yeah no, he'd, after uh the the emotional reunion he'd, he'd get her uh ties off and all what? that uh, and he'd clarify i'm it's it's me it's ivan uh, and Ivan, Paul, and uh, Ralph, we're here to help you. Okay, like I said, um, she has kind of a uh, vacant look to her. Um, obviously, she recognizes you, but she seems horribly traumatized. And, uh, yeah, she just kind of seems like she's in shock. Like, obviously, she just got strangled for three rounds, four rounds. And was being executed for she doesn't even know what. Yeah, let's not tell well, her. We'll get it sorted out. Let's not tell her that she's being executed for the shit that you guys did that Gretel actually told you about? Correct, yeah. Let's not. Let's make sure they don't find out. Yeah. What are you doing with Gretel and Anna? Uh, I, as long as they're not... Um... Getting executed, that would be the first step. And then, uh, I guess, bring him to... Well, once we know where Ralph is, we'd bring him to Ralph. Okay. Um, that was definitely not how I expected it to go down. I didn't expect the Grandmaster to even take a hit. I thought that you guys would uh, be focusing on Wolfgang. I wanted to, but when I saw the man just standing there, it's like <laughs> he can't, he can't just not. Also, it sounds like you mistook him for Rodimus. I did, or for Anton. I did, a hundred percent. But still, the guy's up there, and as a stealth guy, how do you not want to just stand in front of everyone beating the shit out of their leader? No, and uh, you almost got caught doing it. And if you had not uh, made that check. You would have been screwed. I would have, but you gotta go for it. No, it it was awesome. Okay, uh, so you guys clean up your shit and uh, head uh, head out. How do the goons want to divvy up the loot of these cultists? Or did they stay long enough to discuss that? Because if they don't, I mean, it's really... oh yeah, they they'll. Uh strip the bodies of the cultists and take everything they have. Does the executioner have anything neat on him? The executioner uh he has a chain shirt that looks really nice and a really nice great axe. You might actually want the great axe. Yeah, I'll grab that great axe and chain shirt if I can. Okay. How difficult is it to scrub the heraldry off of that breastplate? Um, you could definitely take it to an armorer and get it done, but you're going to have to do some fancy footwork because you just murdered a noble and it's going to be obvious what you're doing and how you're doing it. So you definitely have to find someone you can trust to not just turn you into the cop. Fair. But you could fence it and then just buy your own breastplate. That's true, but fencing this would only be like, what, half of the half, right? Um, 
Yeah, you'd only get quarter for it fencing it. Yeah. Um, still better than nothing. Um, we got options. Yeah, it's still a nice chunk of change. It's like 400, 500 gold pieces isn't that bad. How valuable is Wolfgang's body to Rodimus? Strictly speaking, uh, if there was an offer to purchase Dagmar's contract in exchange for Wolfgang's body under threat if he denies it, Bill raise him as a zombie. Uh, I, that would just get us threat. immediately like gangbanged by the guards. Like that's a horrible idea. Is it okay? Keeping Wolfgang alive or captive, like killing him here in this in this cult church is the only pretty much the only way we're going to get to legitimately kill him if we take him out of here and take him prisoner in any way shape or form he is now a noble and he's no longer at the scene of the crime that clearly he was doing some shady no, shit no, 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 and I like get it. That, that's fair and, and so we can no longer kill him if we don't kill him here no, he's to, dead. I was, yeah. to be fair he wasn't actually doing anything at this uh scene he wasn't participating in anything and up until the point when you guys attacked Nothing illegal was happening here. I mean, it looks like he was doing something. Yeah, de definitely in this scene. This is some kind of weird underground cult thing and everybody's dead. Like, all the goons survive, so they'll leave. But there'll be a bunch of bodies and cultist robes. And it's clearly a temple of Rangor. Um, probably won't be a whole lot of questions asked unless they're being specifically asked by Rodimus. We wouldn't know okay. to disfigure his face enough that he couldn't talk, right? What do you mean? Or speak with dead. Like, that's a thing, but it's not a thing we would necessarily know to do. But you can't disfigure undead to keep them from talking. Uh, no, if, uh, if the corpse is unable to speak, like physically unable to speak, then I don't believe speak with dead works on it. I don't think that's true. Maybe I'm just mistaking that from something else. Yeah, that, for starters, a corpse can't talk, period. I mean, like, if you remove the jawbone. Yeah, but it doesn't talk by using its mouth to talk. Oh, the body it's must a... be mostly intact to be able to respond. A damaged corpse may be able to give partial answers or partially correct answers, but it must at least have a mouth in order to speak at all. That seems stupid. Eh, you're not wrong. It's a divination spell. You're asking his soul question. No, it's a necromancy spell. It's a necromancy spell to speak with dead? Uh, I'm looking at the SRD. A language-dependent necromancy. Oh, we lost a... Oh, okay. That seems stupid. Maybe it is. That makes sense, then, if... The problem is you have to be within 10 feet, and the reason you need to be within 10 feet is because that allows you to speak to them through the grave. How do you talk to them when you're six feet underground? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I mean, dirt blocks line of effect anyways. Not if the spell is specifically designed to do that, though. If all you need to do is be within 10 feet of the corpse to contact the soul, that would be a divination effect. But yeah, that is weird. I'm pretty sure in 2nd edition the reason the range was that is so that you could don't have to dig up bodies to talk to them. Mm -hmm. In any case, I don't think we would know to do that. But we would mess them. I, I'd mess them up pretty bad just out of principle. Yeah, well, like I said, they're going to cave in their heads, so. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, we lost Ralph. Um, we lost Ralph completely or just out of Discord? He's not in the call. Oh, wow. He didn't even say anything. Was he having computer issues? Yeah, he was having all kinds of computer problems. We'll probably hear from him soon. It's almost uh He's still showing anyways. online in Discord. I have him yellow, which I think is idle. Yeah, but he's still showing online. He's still connected to the internet. Yeah. If he popped up and he was on his phone, then that would tell me that maybe the power went out or his computer crashed or something. 
But at any rate, not particularly relevant at the moment. Um, does Wolfgang have any cufflinks or anything small identifiable we could, like, leave near the estate so that when it gets to Rodimus, he'll know his son is dead? Or will he just naturally know? He's going dead? to find out, for sure. This is, this is no the church of his it. god. Like, he basically controls this area. Okay, I, I just wasn't sure since we And it's a horrible him. idea to take any part of Rodimus out of this church where, like, he can point to it and say to the authorities, hey, who did this? Like, we don't want to give them anything. We're concealing a crime, basically. Only we're concealing it in a place where no one will care that it happened rather than concealing it that it happened at all. Fair enough. Um... Yes, at this moment, it looks like somebody ambushed the cult members. And there is no specific reason to believe that it's you guys. Okay. So, good job, guys. You might want to bring Dana. Is it Dana? Yeah. It is Dana. Oh. She was posing as Dagmar. Um, I think I already told you the story. You did. Where she got knocked out and woke up in jail and she faked her identity so that she wouldn't be connected to the crime that her family was being accused of, but they didn't believe her. And then she didn't want to add anything to her crime, so she just stayed undercover. I guess at this point, especially since uh, Ralph isn't here, um, Paul would just recommend uh, taking her to a safe house, not our apartments, so she can recover, and then we can talk to her when she's feeling better, uh, all three of us, and hear her story. Because what Paul said, what Paul, what Ralph said was correct. We don't know fully what happened that day. That is true. But I think Ralph was very negative on the concept. He is, but I also don't want to have that discussion without him there. No, that is totally fair. Like I said, she will reiterate the story she told Gretel. And oh. uh, that uh, she assumes that Bernard uh, died in the fight. She heard that he was identified after the battle, but um, he did make a break for the alley to the south. But apparently his body was found in the alley to the south. What does she want to do now that she's quote unquote free? Uh, now that she's free, she simply doesn't want to go back. Because um... the safest way to do that is to leave the city. Yeah, we don't have her contract is the thing, and she's still technically a fugitive. That is technically true. I mean, Goldface is still heading to that discussion, and the fact that he would can either A, show how ballsy we are, or B, show that Goldface has no idea what's been happen happening, so he's innocent. Oh God, yeah, what do we hear back from Goldface? Um, well, I thought you guys were going to cancel the deal. Well, so we sent him to go do the deal, and then we found out that she was going to be sacrificed, and we didn't know where Goldface was at that point, and there wasn't enough time to go go stop it. No, that that's totally fine. Um, If we see him in the process of, of under uh, doing this, then yeah, we tell him, but... It, uh, Would we want to? I'm fine continuing the deal. We still need that contract. No, we need, still need the contract, but I at least want to tell him the facts of uh, she is no longer in Rodimus's or Anton's possession. Why would you want to tell him that? I mean, the because it, 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 tell, it lets him know like what um, he can he can make a cheaper deal, like a contract <laughs> for someone who he, do, who he doesn't even have is hardly worthwhile. I would think. Yeah, but that but that's admitting that he knows the that. She's missing the day she's missing, right? The less he knows, the better for a more reason, like a, a more believable story. If Admitting he knows that he that knows something isn't really incriminating, unless he tells how he knows it. 
in gold pieces. Yeah, but if he doesn't trust that. us, he doesn't have to sell it. He could just say, fuck you guys. I mean, that's true, but now, like, if we're offering gold to him, and he's in a time of dire need, um, and he doesn't even have her anymore, he'd be much more likely to sell her. Or maybe not, depending on how he feels about Wolfgang. I don't know. I, I just think he's a piece of shit that'd rather kill all his women than ever give one of them up. In any case, we should let Goldface know for his own safety, if nothing else. Like, and he doesn't know that there he, has been any like, any uh, violent conflict around uh, around Dana, or that uh, that Dana is suspected as an informant, and therefore uh, him asking about her the, mo- the same night that they send her off to be sacrificed is kind of suspicious on him. Okay, what was what did you send him there to do? What information did he have going into this? Uh, he knew that Dana was our... Um, did he know he was... He may or may not have known she was our relative. Um, but I, I don't remember that part. We um, didn't talk to him about that. If he figured it out, I think he may have. We, the only thing we told him is we would like to have him negotiate a deal for the contract uh, of Dagmar. Yeah. Um, Paul started with a 500 gold thing. Ivan made it a thousand. Uh, any amount he saves, or, and like he gets 10 percent of that thousand, and he'll do his best to get as cheap as possible. Um, so as far as he knows, unless he has other information we're not aware of, uh, that uh, Rodimus still has uh, cap- um, uh, uh, captivity of Dagmar, uh, and that uh, that he's just making a normal deal. He doesn't know any of the sewer stuff went on because we never got the chance to tell him. Yeah, so the, my point is he, he's made contact and arranged a, a meeting. What are you telling him? Are you canceling the deal or you want him to go forward with it? And what uh, we'd information like to, are you giving him? We'd like I'll to buy her to contract forward. if we can. Um, be careful yourself that he doesn't blame you for all of this. Uh, all of this, what? Uh, I, we tell him like um, that we rescued. Uh, I, I would say that we rescued Dagmar. Um, he was taking her to be killed, and we only found out about it after we asked you to make the deal. And uh, her retrieval was violent. Okay. So. Um, so is this want, something that's even functional to pull off now? Uh, you probably know how he handles his deals better than we do. Um, if we can get the contract for her, that would be very helpful because that would mean she's no longer effectively a fugitive. However, um, I don't know if I don't know Anton well enough to know whether he'd be willing to give that up anymore. You can roll a knowledge local. Or a and or a knowledge nobility. Fuck. I'll use uh, I'll use a reroll on that. Your last uh, reroll on that? Do I have my no? I used my mass reroll already. Yeah, I'll use my last. Well, it's late in the day. Yeah, I'll use my last reroll on that. Well, my second to last. Didn't you use your second to last in combat? I used my so I used the first I've uh, I did three uh, aggressors odds total. Okay. If you scroll back through the um, chat, and I have five per day. I want to keep the last one for my passive bonuses, but I can use the the four before that with no issue. What passive bonuses do you have? Uh, plus two to stealth and bluff. Yes, stealth and bluff, and plus one to every other skill. You took something that gives you a passive bonus to stealth and bluff, and took something that gives you plus one to all of your skills in general? Yes. We talked about that before, is that uh, stealth synergy is a great starting feat, and it helped us a lot. And then um, even if I override the bonuses with other bonuses, I still get the reroll from it. Oh, you get a reroll from stealth synergy? Or not stealth synergy. Uh, what's the luck feat? Sly Fortune. I, I miss oh, okay. I just figured you'd pick something that is more useful if you've already got the skill feat. Well, so Sly Fortune has no prerequisites, so it was the first one I took. Because oh. the, the luck feats with no prerequisites are all kind of iffy. 
So um, I took that for uh, meeting other prerequisites. Then I took uh, Survivor's Equalizer for the nice save bonus. Then I took Aggressor's Odds and then Dumb Luck. Oh, okay. See, I would have taken one of the initiative ones as the crappy one. Yeah, plus one is so like it's so not great though. Like improved initiative is a feat, and that gives plus four. Uh, yeah, but I think it also gives you like reroll on a one. Um, I don't like. I don't really like the reroll on a one feats personally. Like they're too situational. They're too in- infrequent in their use. No, that is absolutely true, but you know that it's one of many feats you're going to take, and it's one of those things you can have in your back pocket is, oh, I can just re-roll that one. Well, I can re-roll all uh, rolls with dumb luck. That is true, but you can't do that until you have, like, four feet. I, I have it now. Yeah, you do have it now. I just meant from the beginning. There. Um, so the Sly Fortune has been really useful, though. It's made my stealth check better. No, that that's absolutely true. It just is redundant to then take one that gives you plus one to all your, your skills, because it is effectively taking one away from all of those two skills. So what does uh, 16 tell me about Rodimus? Um, well, given the situation, it's unlikely that he's going to want to hang on to Dagmar. Um, he's had a huge, uh, financial blow. Um, well, he might have some suspicions about her disappearance and the carnage that, uh, ensued. Uh, he's not really in a financial position to turn shit down. Like if he wants his son back, it's 5,000 gold pieces for a resurrection. Yeah, I tell Goldface um, we're still very much willing to pay for that contract, same as before, and um, it'll be a lot easier for you if he doesn't know it's us that wants it. Um, well, obviously, that's the whole point of doing a third party. Yeah, so uh, um, I doubt he'll want to hold on to it, though. You can okay. probably get a pretty low price for it because he no longer has possession of the person it pertains to. Yeah, and I think it expires in like six months. Six or eight months. That too. Something like that, yeah. Goldface is shrewd. He'll manage. And to be honest, he's done with her. Like He makes use of her when he doesn't have another option, but... Uh, ten years ago, she was way hotter. Gruesome, but probably true. I don't think there's any probabilities about it. Ten years is a long time for chicks. Ten years is a long time for anyone. That is true. But ten years for a guy when he's in his early 20s generally doesn't change much about his appeal 10 years as a woman like obviously Rodimus never considered her a real partner he she was just using her as a mistress but um she's in her 30s now so she's not even uh really viable as a uh a spouse most guys who want to get married want a woman who can provide them with children And I think she's in her, I think she's like 36 or something. Like not beyond the realm of possible, but definitely not going to have a large family with a 36 year old. Oh no, she's only 33. That's not that bad. It's Bernard who's 36. Yeah, she's only two years older than Ralph. Oh, I just noticed we're already uh, 10 minutes over our limit. Uh, Was there anything else you guys wanted to do before we end? Nothing for me. No, I I don't want to do much more without Ralph. No, I was just wondering if you had any minutia we needed to deal with. Um, Good session. That was was really good. I, 
I wasn't sure how that was going to go down, and uh, it worked out really well. I not going to lie. When I was in the middle of that podium alone, I'm like, how is this going to turn out for me? I really need better armor class, because like, even with a lot of hit points, I just go down so easy. Like, I mean, you saw that Paul was way more tanky than I am. He's only He's got like 10 less hit points, but he has like, what, four more armor class than that. No, you had six more armor class in that situation. Yeah, but three of it was his 16. spell. Yeah, but like I don't have that. That is true. I mean, I avoided like over half of those hits would have hit me without the spell, and a lot of my hits would have missed without this. Like if you had activated it, you don't have finesse, right? If you had like the uh, any. Oh no! Wait, I'm thinking Malar. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> He doesn't Mailer have the happened. ability to juice the numbers the way you do. Yeah, I, I was thinking Mailer, uh with the animal spells. Yeah, that was the second combat in this uh, first chapter that was taxing for resources. And it was funny because sure. it was back-to-back with the first combat. And as you guys were just burning through your abilities early on, I was like, this is going to go badly if you get to the end and you need something. Yeah, that's that's how our combats are going to go, I think, is all the tensions. I mean, it's, it's good narrative, that all the tensions at the end of the combat. Yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, as long as you guys are fine with it, I just... I don't think it'll happen too many times because um, this isn't going to be a high combat game. But there might be a few scenarios going forward. Like this is basically the end of the mapped out campaign. And that was the other thing I was going to ask is where you guys want to go from here. Yeah, we have only need to figure out how we want to finish off Rodimus now. Yeah, we definitely... We... So there's the there's the legal acquiring of his estate and then there's the actual like being well known as living there in a public place while having enemies in the city so like i think we're going to want to like not only acquire his estate but work on reestablishing our I, at least this this is me talking cuz you know ivan's all about his family and in restoring past glory um that he, he we would want to um like find a way to legitimize our name again basically that's what i want anyways i think i think the other like that's kind of a funny thing too is i think all of us want different things yeah i was kind of surprised at how non-cohesive the party is considering you're all brothers you grew up together and you all have completely different agendas like Ralph's agenda seems to be so at odds with everything either of you want to do. You two are usually are going down the same road. You're just going down different routes to get there, whereas he's going the other way. Yeah, Ralph just seems to be like very, <laughs> very nonplussed by all this adventuring and tomfoolery in general, which I mean, it makes sense to the character. As long as he's enjoying playing his character, I don't care how he does it. I just yeah, I that's the main question I have is I hope he's enjoying this game because he's very quiet through most of it, and he like I don't, I don't know, know he's maybe that's just the way he normally is. I think a lot of it has to do with just his connection issues and whatnot. Um, he tends to fall in and out of the game a lot, but oh. uh, yeah, he he's much more participatory in other games, so. I think in this one, he's just more of a passive, beaten-down character, and he's really playing into that. There. Uh, but yeah, I had a ton of fun. That was a really fun uh, encounter. Awesome. Okay, well, I will catch you guys. We're not playing next week, right? We're off for a couple of weeks, aren't we? Uh, I cannot play next week because I have. Uh, I'm going to be in Wisconsin. And that's just one session, or are you going to be there for longer than a week? Uh, I'm going to be there until the 4th, so I should be fine for the 6th. Okay, so it's just the next session we're missing. Missing. Yeah, I'm also going to miss, um, what's the Friday game? Uh, Embers uh, yeah. on the 1st. Yeah, the next yeah, two Embers are already cancelled anyway, because uh, 
Ralph and Ball are gone. Yep. Fair oh, enough. Okay, well, I'll catch you guys later. Later. Take care. Have a good night.